What is going on guys? I am back once again. Boy still cracking because you know, like literally hitting puberty, so that's fun. Picking up where we left off. Just gonna grab that box. If you want the ammo, you can take it. I don't need it, so I'm not gonna grab it. Go through this hole in the wall. Now we're gonna be in this area. It's pretty much just a confined area with Lady Dimitrescu. So pull this lever. And you're gonna have to think of if you watched my Outlast walkthrough, which I know a lot of you guys did, I always like to know the layout of the area. And like from the start, I was like, this area looks like an area where I'm just gonna have to run. So I kind of learned this area really quickly. I was like, all right, so we can run around here if we need to, just run in circles. You can run down here. You could run around here in circles if you need to as well. And then this is a dead end. So you don't run this way because it's a dead end. So you got two little air, two little spacey little circles. You run in this little circle, or you could go back, run in that little circle. So say she's running this way, just run back this way. In a little circle, she'll follow this way, you know, loop back around and go back down. So here we go. I'm gonna skip the cutscene. This cutscene tripped me the fuck out. Be sure to watch it. It's fucking intense. I'm gonna skip it, but if it's your first time through, go ahead and watch it. Actually, I'm just going to show right here, because... There we go. Okay, so you see her, and you're like, ah, oh, shit. So, I'm going to run in a circle. See, so we're back at the beginning right now. So, run in a circle, run back over here. Grab our hand. And now we're going to run in the circle again. So whichever way she comes out, we're going to go like that way. She should open up this gate right here. If she doesn't, it's perfectly fine. Let's see, she does. So I wait till she runs back at me. We're back at the entrance again, just to let you know. So this part's actually a lot easier than I expected. We're going to do the new way. She's going to be there. I'm like, ah, shit. We run around. She's chasing us, right? So we're just going to run through the newly opened pathway that she just gave us. Then run down the stairs. Run down here. Go right here and use the key. Now, I've never had her hit me right here while we're unlocking it. So I'll grab that mask. And we're good. That part's not too bad as long as you know where to run. So... It gets kind of confusing because you're like, oh shit, I don't know where I'm at after that little cutscene, but just try to, you know, get your your bearings, your surroundings, and just, you gotta just kind of train her, run her in a circle. If you play zombies, you know what to do. This makes no fucking sense to me. It's fucking Deadpool. I don't like it. it makes no fucking sense. For a second, I'm just gonna fast forward through this. So now that we did that, now Lady Demitres is going to be following us, so... Yeah, there's that. And also, guys, will be spawning, see? He was just... Bro, gravity, am I right? There should be more guys spawning, but... Weird. So now you come into this area, we can unlock it with our new key. You're gonna need to come over here, so just, you know... Might as well get over with now. Let's grab that map. This is also where a marble is, so we could do that little um, marble castle thing in the Duke's area. So be sure to be come this way. We're going to go this way. There's going to be a guy right here, to the left. And the marble is right here. Go ahead and grab that. Trust me, it's worth it. It's a fun little mini game, and it gives you an item that's worth a sh like, shitload of money for the time. Like, there'll be more valuable prizes later in the next areas. But for now, it's pretty dope. So, go ahead and grab that. Guy right here, you can see him. You turn around right here, there's going to be a vase. You can pick up whatever you... Yeah, I don't need that, but... We're going to play the piano, because apparently Ethan's just a man of many talents. And he knows how to play the piano, so... I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with this. Wow, 
Wow, look at Cheddar. Damn, dude. Way to go for the walkthrough, bro. And that's gonna give us our new key. So now we can go back to that dungeon area where the first Beast Sister was and get that treasure. So you could examine that, grab some scraps. But now Lady Dimitrescu is gonna be in this area. So just be careful. We're gonna take this key, we're gonna go upstairs to the next Beast Sister fight. So unlock this. It's gonna be at the top of the staircase. See? We'll blast your brains out. What up, Freddy Krueger? So we're gonna run through here. Run back the way we came. It gets kind of confusing. I still get confused on it, to be honest. I'm gonna make sure she's behind us. She is, okay. So we're gonna run back through here. Yeah, I get confused right here. Wait. Yep, run through here. Now with the new key that we got, we're gonna go in here. And this is gonna be the next B sister, so just be ready for it. Pretty easy fight. Just run to the middle, run directly to the middle, so you and pull this lever. No! She's like, oh, I fucking don't like that, but I love her. And eventually the, that's gonna shut. And when it does, like she's gonna be like incapacitated the entire time. So as soon as that shuts, just come back over here and pull the lever again. Just literally camp right here by this lever and just keep pulling it. And that boss fight's actually really easy. You can look around here, see there's ammo and shit around the bookcases, so go ahead and do that. I don't need nothing, so we're gonna go through these doors. We're gonna unlock this door. This takes us back to the mansion. So now we're back on the second floor where, the, uh, where we dropped off the wine bottle and also that red eye thing to get the first Beast Sister fight. We're gonna grab that. Go through this door and solve this riddle. This riddle right here is gonna say the five bells. So we're gonna shoot these five bells. This one, the next one's behind here. I don't know where it is, there it is. Oh shit, should have missed. I'll get it this time. So that one, there's two, three right there. Gonna be a fourth one right up here. And the fifth one's way the fuck over there. So the first bullet, shoot the glass. Usually the second one's hit the bell, but the sniper is powerful as fuck. So yeah, shoot the five bells. Then this turns into a door, which I called before I even hit the bells. I was like, bro, that's gonna be a door. And it was, so. I'm gonna climb up this ladder. On this next part, we're gonna grab another mask. I think that's gonna be our third mask. Yeah, we have two, so this is gonna be our third one. We need four. Go ahead and come up here. Turn around. This guy's alive, just. If you wanna grab that lock pick, you can. Okay, so you grab that treasure map if you wanted to. And there's gonna be a sniper right here on that chair. That's why there's a shitload of money, because I already have it. So there's gonna be a sniper. Be sure to pick that up. It's like it's like my favorite weapon. I don't think it's this one per se, it's a different one, but yeah, it could do that. It's fucking dope. And I missed because I'm trash. That's okay. They should just post up. Actually, I don't want to waste time doing this, so we're just gonna keep going. Because if you wanted to, yeah, you could just sit here and look at that guy post it up. Then the other one should still be flying around. Yep, like that guy. I'm not gonna worry about it. So we're just gonna keep running. I thought a guy spawned right here, but maybe not. Hi, there you are, bro. There will be a guy that spawns directly in front of us right here. So just be ready for it. It's a little jump scare. So just bang. And he's done. So we're gonna run around here. Yeah, he's done. There's gonna be another guy that pops up from around this corner. This guy's gonna come at us, I already know. And I think that guy's the last one. 
Did he survive or some shit? Why do I still hear him? Oh, there you are. Hi, bro. Alright, so they're both dead. So we're gonna come up the roof. Over this. There's another one somewhere. There he is. Go around this way. Go up that long ass. Dude, this is like the most intricate fucking roof I've ever seen in my life. Like, I guess it's because I don't own a castle. You know, I'm not like Mr. Beast or some shit that could just buy a fucking castle on a mountain. For a YouTube video. Like, god damn, I wish I could. Uh, but yeah. I, like, the fucking roof has a staircase on it. Fucking nuts. Go ahead, grab this mask. One idiot. There's usually a guy right here that tries to fucking jump scare me. I hate it. Kick down the ladder. Now we're gonna take this elevator back down into the castle. Literally where the entrance is. Like where we first came. And like I think it's like the second video of the walkthrough. I think we're already on this is like what the fourth, fifth one around there. I'm really bad at keeping track of the parts while I'm doing it. <laughs> I go back and I watch the videos. I'm like, dude, Cheddar, you gave the wrong one. Like, what are you doing, bro? But yeah, it's a nice little ele I wish they had elevator music or something because it's really boring. On my stream, I'm just like, I don't know what good shit to say during a long ass, like, intermission elevator ride. So, okay, this next part. Lady Dimitrescu is going to uh, charge us. I like to run straight at her. And then get out challenge and just sharp right her. So there we go. We're gonna do the get out challenge right here, Resident Evil 8 edition. Yay. You won't live long, even if you run. Yes, yeah, so you're moving a little bit too fast for the game. I don't think it's like loaded in. We're gonna run right to the Duke, because the Duke is our savior. So now that we got the marble, we could go over here. Go put the marble on the castle. And we're gonna do this little puzzle. I'll tell you, man, I love these little puzzles they added. Okay, now this part's a little bit tricky. You don't want to get them into the holes right there. You want to get into the little castle on the bottom that's lit up. And there you go. So you're gonna get this nice little looking thing. I guess it's nice. Looks pretty, but. I'm gonna save, and that's actually gonna be it for me, guys. Um, the next video, I believe we're gonna be fighting the last Beast Sister. Um, and then I'll kind of look around. I think there's like one or two more treasures I can still grab here, so. Yeah, we're gonna be avoiding Dimitrisk, fighting the last Beast Sister, and maybe even fight Dimitrisk in the next one. I think we could. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.